Hi, I'm Ben. Uh, three years ago, I bought this machine, uh, the Jet Air Filtration Unit. Uh, air quality is really important to me, so I need to make sure that I've got a decent machine, and it's been great. It's been really good. But a little while ago, um, it stopped working. Once it stopped working, I didn't really feel comfortable in here working, uh, particularly with MDF uh, and standing, especially just to just get too too thick, really, in an area this small. So. I had a look on the internet and I found out that a common problem with them is the um, printed circuit board fails. So I looked how to do it, changed two capacitors. I'm not an electronics engineer or a wizard or anything, but I figured out how to do it. So I did that and it worked okay for a while, but then it failed again. Um, the remote was okay, it worked, but the machine wasn't coming on and off. I could hear it buzzing, but it wasn't really getting going. So I thought, do I spend 200 quid on a new machine? or do I replace a PCB? And the printed circuit board was 200 quid. So I didn't really want to do either. In the end, I thought I'll bypass the printed circuit board. So I won't have a timer available, but I will have three different speeds. Here's how it went. Oh, don't do this at all. Well, the remote worked, but the PCB, the uh, printed circuit board stopped working. So it needs power in, needs power out. So let's see how we can bypass that. So from the main input cable, we've got an earth, we've got a live feed, we've got a return neutral. So the neutral runs off straight to the motor. The live runs through a fuse, secondary fuse, three amp fuse. Okay, so what we need to do is to now what I need to do is to create a live feed that will run to low, medium and high. 10 amp four-way switch off 1, 2 and 3. So that's what I need for the three-speed fan. I've discovered these, which are brilliant. I'll just show you one from the pack. So there's a common connection through. So rather than having a strip connector that you screw into and have five wires going in, you just have one of these. So that just connects one wire to the same feed. There's also three ways. So if you've got one feed of one live and two feeds and then five. It's brilliant. Live feed after the 3 amp fuse into the switch and black is slow white is medium and yellow is high so to go into these 1, 2, 3, 4 
Should be off. Then blow. Medium. No timer, but works in all three settings without the remote. Can you see better? So the whole unit is still left. All the switching takes place after the preamp. Using the same men's lead. All I've done really is pipe twice past the printed circuit there. With a switch that costs I think it was two ninety. So I won't put any links on this because I'm not recommending you do this. I'm recommending you don't do this. It's a disgraceful way to lose the warranty. Oh, they have no warranty anyway. And they stopped selling these in the UK. I think I've solved the problem. Right, weighs a ton. I put it the wrong way around, so I'll take it down, put it back up again.